Hey, yeah, what's no. poppin', man? You already know. It's your boy, Mr. J Hill. Live from District 30, uh, 1341 Bayard Street. Did I say it right? Yeah, 1341 Bayard Street, Baltimore, Maryland. Make sure you come cop you some cash line apparel. Listen, yeah, we yeah. rocking it. Um, that's all we rocking. You already know. Um, <laughs> I'm here. A conversation with myself and my guy, Primetime Tez. Hey, what up, man? What, what up, up, dog? What up? Just working, you know. Hey, Just man. Working. Um, So we got to start from when I met you. I f and that was through uh, Think Before You Speak. Mm -hmm. I said it right. That was your platform. Uh, Yeah, well, yeah, that's fair to say. Okay. It, it might have been before that, but it's fair to say that. Okay, but you was doing your thing with Think Before You Speak. That shit was hard. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But during that time, you still was making music. But I don't think a lot of people knew, or you could well, rap or something like that. Nah, it's uh, it's kind of opposite way around. Like I, I started making music man, at a young age. Uh, I want to say like thirteen. I started like, like the first time I got in the studio, um, and recorded, and then like around sixteen, like the whole teenage range. I'm going to proms and performing. I'm performing any and everywhere you can think of. Like okay. I, probably performed this my closet before you know what i mean okay. just trying to make myself more way out here but um well you ain't, you ain't go ahead i, I hope you never performed this in my oh, closet nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like we ain't, nah, nah, we ain't performing in no, nah, no closet nah, all right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't doing nah, that shit nah. all right. but um yeah think before you speak came around uh i want to say like 20 21 years old around okay that time yeah but i've been rapping like all my life right so yeah so, so i was saying yeah. you was you was already making music mm -hmm. during that time mm -hmm. Um, I don't. Did you stop or something? Because I remember. Nah. See, the thing is, I never stopped. It's just that I was doing it for so long that, you know, I I wanted to try something new. I okay. told myself that uh, if I could put the same energy into something else other than music, like go as hard for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I do music. Let me see what happens. Mm. And so that's when um, think before you speak came along. Okay, so yeah. before we get to that, right? Before mm -hmm. we get to think before you speak, what made you want to say, yo, if I could put this in something else, was the music not going how you wanted it to go? Um, you can, yeah, it's fair to say that. Um, I know that everybody has their own journey. Um, I know that, you know, it's, this shit not no overnight type of thing, but I just, you know, I just didn't feel busy enough. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just so ahead of, where i am like i feel like my mind is not even like just in this city alone like i, I really want to expand and stuff like that so mm. at that time i just felt like music you know was was just was just not there at the moment so i just wanted to try something else just to kind of fill that void in okay yep. and how did that work how did that work out it's working out pretty good um as of right now uh i have a podcast uh with two other people um Chico Brando, King Shade, we had this podcast, you know, Think Before We Speak, um, comes out every Tuesday. Um, we doing pretty good. Um, we just had an interview with the Orange Pop, shout out to them. And when she was asking them certain questions, like, yo, what does this do for you? And they was like, yo, this is like therapy for me. I mm. never thought that I would be in this type of situation. Cause they like two regular people, like they never stepped yeah, yeah. into this field uh -huh. behind the camera and in front of the mic, you know what I'm saying? So. When I heard their responses, you know, that's just this to me. Yeah, yeah, it felt great. It felt like, damn, I could really special. You know what I'm it's more yeah. than just me, right? It's just more exactly, right. exactly. So, uh, you know. so um, when you said you originally, right, you mm -hmm. you wanted to put some time, you wanted to see how it was going to work out. You gonna put some time into yeah. something else besides music, right? Mm -hmm. But what made you? What spark came to your mind to be like, yo, think before you speak? You know what? It's funny. Uh, I was I was in a house. Um, and this is like. I took a mini hiatus off of music, not crazy, but I stopped like going to the studio every other day and you know, real life just started to happen. It was me stepping into my adulthood and um, it was a mini hiatus and I was just sitting in the crib watching uh, Growing Up Hip Hop and um, what the fuck? It was Angela and, and Vanessa on TV or whatever. Okay. And um, I'm like, damn, I wonder who better. So I put it on my page. I'm like, man, who better, Vanessa or Angela? Mm -hmm. and, I got a good response, and so I just kept doing it and kept doing it. It just was like it was like a new creative mm. way of I was just comparing two different things, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like, damn, I have a whole nother creative side of my mind that I can use other than just making words rhyme. So okay. that's what really sparked, you know what I'm saying? So, so you know. wait, 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 because this is okay. this is this is cool, right? Mm -hmm. And I like I love the story. Mm -hmm. So you say you're, you're making music since like 12 years mm -hmm. old, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're like, man, I want to see what will happen if I put this energy, the same energy that I'm putting into music into mm -hmm. something else. Mm -hmm. That came before 
the think before you speak or was it kind of like simultaneously or you was already taking a break from well, music see, think before you speak that well the spark yeah it came in in between music and think before you speak the spark was just me comparing different things you know what i'm saying just being like really really creative with that and then i was like yo i want to turn this into something like right. i feel like this could be something it could be like a debate show or something you know right what I mean? so at that moment mm -hmm. what was you saying maybe if i put my energy into something else was you saying that or did that come before that that thought process I think that came around that it's time yep, okay around that time yep, yep okay yep, yep. all right mm -hmm. no nah, that's cool yeah. that's what i'm trying to figure out like yeah at one because you know sometimes you could think that right mm -hmm. and then maybe you force something because it's like yo, i want right. to put my mind into something else so bad that i'm gonna just make up some shit, right right but that just right. came yeah it came yeah now nah, that's yep. dope yep. so um from what came from that now we got you started comparing things then mm -hmm. you got to think before, before you speak and then mm -hmm. what came from that besides the, we're gonna get into the podcast uh -huh. and we still gonna get into the music but i'm saying mm -hmm. just you as a as a creative as, as a as a person honestly right. what came from think before you speak when you was creating it oh wow that's a great question um it it, it, it was like another side of me that i you know didn't know i had mm. um growing up just trying to be this rapper just wanting to rap yo i just want to rap i just want to <laughs> rap you know people always say yo it's so much more it's so much more as well like yeah. my <laughs> uncle man oh my god like he's like he's like a father figure in my life man he just was you know you could just go to school and you you could do that and do that you know what I'm it was just like i was so but i ain't dimension. trying to do that <laughs> right? yeah, i'm trying yeah. to do this exactly exactly and, and, and just me being young and naive you know what i'm saying it's just like no i got it i got it i got it you know what i'm saying and um and so at that moment i'm just like bruh i've been so one-dimensional my whole life just mm. just rapping not even recording people not even <laughs> fucking cameraman none of that like right. i just wanted to spit and so i was like yo let me let me try this because i always knew that i had the personality and shout out to my best friend dex he's always told me like yo the wisdom that you got and, and the shit that you you talk and you know, the way you talk and the way you think yo it's like more than a rapper like mm. you know what i'm saying like he understood why i rap because i enjoy making music but he always felt like yo you got the type of spirit that was just more than more a than just a rapper yeah, just right more than a rapper yeah, yeah it was like you was almost downgrading yourself by just trying to be a rapper right. so you know it, it all that shit just combined in together bro and i just became this you know host of a debate show you know okay I mean? that's cool um so now we doing think before you speak. Now we, yep. we fully locked in. <laughs> when did you say, all right, I'm doing too much for think before you speak. Let me get back into the music. And did that come <laughs> after or before the podcast? Um, Wait, say it again. So we doing think before, before you speak. We locked in. You yeah. host of the uh, debate show. Yeah. Um, but eventually you get back to music, right? Oh, yeah. But then even now you have a podcast. Did the music come before the podcast or was it podcast then music? You know... <sighs> I, it's like it's almost asking me you know what kid i would take care of first like <laughs> I, I don't it's so i don't know y'all I, I wake up and if 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 uh king shay hit me like yo we need to figure this out that's the first thing i'm gonna figure out and then if i spark up some rhymes in my head two hours later i'm writing a rap like right. it's, it's 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 like so mixed together it's not crazy. what not what comes first in the aspect of uh like right now right mm -hmm. in present tense but right. what came first in the past sense of you know let me get back to the music or was you always doing the music while i think before you I speak i was all i was always doing the music um not at this capacity where i'm like doing interviews i'm performing i'm in a studio so when did that come i want to say earlier this year this year um right up right around when the, the corona thing started to happen okay. um i just you know you can't stay away from it for too right. long. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I've I've tried to be honest with you, bro. I've quit rap like five times in my life. I actually have a song called "Done with Rap" about me quitting rap and then getting back to <laughs> it all in one song. Like it's you should make a part two and a three and a four, like because yeah, you I might, might be done well. with it another time and then come back again. <laughs> I might as well. Hopefully, I don't have to. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying things can work out and we. You it know, can kind of be like a, a a continuation, like a sequel, like um sticking to rap i guess yeah you can say like where i am now with yeah shit, right? like yeah, exactly. and there's a challenge now like uh how it started uh-huh how it's going uh -huh. we like done with rap and now we sticking to rap or some exactly. shit like that hey, hey, you yeah. gotta pay me for the idea but not nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no nah. but um 
So the podcast, I'm assuming, came before you started taking music serious again. Yeah, like uh, the pod, we started the podcast. Actually, we were supposed to start the podcast last March, mm. but a bunch of trials and tribulations, me going through things with different uh, female co-hosts. Shout out to Chico Brando. That's been my brother. We've been doing this thing together forever, but we had a, 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 a decision to make, right? We wanted to add something more to the show, and that was a female co-host. And, you know, last year, just going through different, like I said, just going through different trials and tribulations with that cameraman, just trying to get started. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know how to do a podcast, didn't know what it was. Um, so I did some studying for the uh, back end of 2019. And so then by December, we found King Shay. We all went to Emerson High School together. Mm -hmm. So it was like a genuine friendship already. You know right. what I'm saying? So it was, we was good on that. And so by January, uh, we did a photo shoot. We decided, yo, we going to record our first episode in February. Like, we planned it everything out. Mm. So we started it in February. Um, and then, yeah, just been going ever since. Now, I'm going to try to keep this short because I can have an hour-long conversation on a podcast just by itself. <laughs> you got a successful one, <laughs> Thank too, you. So. How, how? What are some of the headaches that you, that you go through that a lot of people that might not understand and might not see when it yeah. comes to – creating this podcast and being consistent with it dropping every Tuesday man um the headache comes from dying to be consistent mm. because I know the consistency will win but when you have other people around that probably don't understand it because they <laughs> haven't been through as many trials and tribulations within this shit, right. they won't understand that consistency is key. key. Even when things ain't, ain't going, going right, right you have go. to stick with it. You All have right. to just go. And, you know, it, it gets scary at, at, at certain times where it's like, you know, real life shit could really, really be happening, and you su probably supposed to really be symptomatic with mm -mm. those situations. <laughs> Let's but talk about it. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's like damn. it's work. Yeah, it's like it's work. At, at, at one point, for me, it's like yo, if you work for my company or not mm -hmm. even my company, if you work for a company and uh, knock on wood, somebody pass away, you right. only get a certain amount of time to grieve. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same way yeah. and. And whatever we're doing with our work, it's like, yo, yeah. I get it, something happened, but mm -hmm. this can't, life doesn't stop. Yeah. If that's the case, life would have stopped a million times a for million a million different people. Ago. We have, you know, uh, my girl, uh, we just buried her grandma today, and I heard the pastor say, you know. Sorry we for had your loss too, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We had problems before mama was dead. Mm. We got problems after she did. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, he kept it real. It's like. You know, this is just another problem that we mm. gotta deal with, but we gotta get back to it. We gotta get back stronger. So, man, it's it's it's, it's tough, bro. Has the has doing the podcast and being consistent with the podcast helped you with the business side of music? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, For sure, me too. Definitely, because I think I think that's probably one of my downfalls um, throughout like my career and just life period is just being consistent. Mm. Um, yeah, it's it's it's, it's tough. And like I said before, I'm only as consistent as I am now because now I'm aware of what the problem was mm. before. I had to go through all of, all of those things before when I was younger of rapping and then not rapping and then, you know, uh, just a bunch yeah. of shit. Yeah. Now they say the first the first step to recovery is um, acknowledgement, right? Yeah. So you got to acknowledge what the problem is. Exactly. So now that you know what the problem is, we can fix it. Um, Here we go. Let's talk the music, man. We got this yes, year. We just sir. started music. You said you dropped the project. Uh -huh. uh, what's going on? Right now, uh, I'm well. I gave it a couple weeks to figure out what the people was rotting with, um, to see what the single was. They're like really, really. What's the name like, of the project first? The project is called "Sorry for My Patience." Okay. Um, Sorry for my patience. Yep. Yeah. What does that mean? Okay. Uh, another reason why uh, I wasn't doing music to the level that you know people wanted me to is just because. I needed to live. Mm. I needed to uh, figure out some things. Um, I'm a real artist. Like when people hear my projects, of course you gonna get the fun songs like House Party Vibes and Potential and uh, No Picks. They, These they are songs like, that's on the that's project. On the project, okay. You know, first four to five songs, they like fun songs. But when the deeper you get into it, you are gonna start to hear Do Say Flow, Sacrifices, mm. Waste My Time, where I'm really talking about what i've been going through in my life you okay and i just had a second son and um congrats yeah thank you and you know it's just been a lot of even with that like 
with my second baby mom like that shit was just a whole disaster her whole pregnancy to mm. be really honest with you so just going through all of that shit um going the, the song waste my time where i'm talking about i don't want to waste my time no more like i just want to be consistent i want to be on this shit I, I you know what i'm saying i can't let nothing sidetrack me because the day i do it you're done it's like starting a, a gym membership right <laughs> and you go you go to, to the gym them January four, five days, that one day you stop going it's done it's, it's a wrap oh it's a wrap right? by what <laughs> by March April is a wrap for everybody it's like a wrap. January 1st everybody's in the gym everybody. we lit we took some pictures man yeah it's about to be a good year that's my year you know and April you're done you 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 know all type that, boys and everything exactly so that that first day you just you know stop doing it is over and so I've, I've done that too many times sorry for my patience we talking about the project yeah right, right album or ep or i keep saying project because i don't know because you don't want to give it a name I don't, yeah <laughs> it's like is this a, it's all original so you can say it's an album it's not that long so you can say it's an ep you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. how many tracks we got on there uh 10 10 well eight but then two bonus tracks with which are just freestyles okay you know what i'm saying uh was it so you know nowadays when, when we come to numbers i think uh kanye west kind of sparked this i'm pretty sure it, Somebody did it way before him, but when yeah. I noticed it was Kanye West mm -hmm. with the number seven, you know, the num number seven, seven represents uh, oh, yeah, the yeah, number yeah. of completion, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All that to say, did you, did you make it eight tracks on purpose, intentionally? Yeah. Why? Kobe. Okay. All Baby right. Player. Rest in peace, Kobe. All right. Yeah. I get that. Baby I get player. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it definitely was a, a thought process behind mm -hmm. the number eight. Yep. And I just turned 24. Um my newborn son was born February 24th. Okay. So it was just a lot of things going on that I was just like. You gonna put an eight? You, yeah, You get these two not? bonus tracks, but yeah. it's uh, eight. We recorded our first podcast the day he died. Mm, damn, that yeah. fire's hard. So it was like, matter of fact, when we was leaving out of the building, uh, King Shea ye yelled out the car, Kobe just died, y'all. And me and Brandon looking at each other like, like what? What? The fuck out of here. That's some TMZ bullshit. Whatever. Some, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Y'all, they be lying for real. So we ain't believe it. And then, hey, it really happened. So. Damn, man. Uh, she, so we got a project. Sorry mm -hmm. for my patience. Yo, do you think that, we talking about patience and sorry for my patience. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we make excuses for what we think is positive and what I mean by that let me rephrase the question you know a lot of mm -hmm. times they say you got to be patient in the game mm -hmm. right but sometimes if you're too patient then you're stagnant then you're not moving yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. that's what I first thing that kind of my that. mind when it says sorry for yeah, my patience yeah, yeah. I, I, th I thought about that um you know what it could be an excuse mm -hmm. it really could I just really felt like that and I the only reason why I didn't look at it as an excuse is because I just always been that way mm -hmm. with everything um you know, we deal with certain peer pressures growing up, uh, parents wanting us to do this. At a, I, I really always did stuff on my time, like, mm -hmm. because I was just patient. I'm like, I got it. I'm, it's cool. You know what I mean? Like, relax. I'm going to get it. I'm just not going to rush into it. Mm -hmm. And so that's the only reason why I didn't look at it as an excuse. But I am at the point of my life where when I do say certain things like that, I do be like, man, shut the fuck up and just go. Mm. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's it's I'm crazy the because place. they say um, the same reason they love you be the same reason they hate you. Yeah. So and and not even just looking at it on a surface level of hate, right? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it at a surface level of us being our own downfall. Man. Like patience is a great uh, like a great attribute to have, right? Yeah. And a person mm -hmm. and to be patient, but at the same time, if you have too much patience, then too now much, you're lacking, yeah. right? Like oh, now yeah, you're yeah. not doing anything. Yeah, it's like. Is really it patience or is it lazy? Is lazy? it lazy? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, I could have. It could have been laziness, but I was working. I really right. was working. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like I was just on my ass. Like uh, you know what I mean? I'm so, just focused on another something yeah, else right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. That so, makes sense. Yeah. Um. But I, I I like where I'm at in life right now, just by doing both. Um. Because I, I feel like. Who's to say that I can't? Yeah, There's it's, no it's a, it's a to this shit. It's a place of like happiness. Yeah, exactly. And, and fulfillment, honestly. Exactly. So exactly. sorry for my patience. Um, what what can we not? I hate the question of what can we expect. What are your what, what are your plans for the project now? Okay. Uh, what, what are some things you're doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Moving forward. Uh, what we can we look forward to? Okay. Uh, well, it looks like the single is gonna be house party vibes. That's that's looking like the joint everybody rocking out with. So. Definitely be on the lookout for a, video, a music video. Um, right now, I'm working on it, trying to find locations, getting, you know what I mean, chicks and you know, stuff like, you know, the whole business side of things for real. But 
that's 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 what's next and then uh my goal is to shoot a video for at least four to five songs on a project that's my goal mm. um and we just gonna go from there man hopefully you know we can get we can get right but this is um leading everybody up to my debut album which is show your hunger oh so um, you already started working on that oh yeah yeah i you know they they always say your first album take your whole life isn't that like <laughs> the saying yeah i've been working on that album my whole life like just just building up memories and experiences and just a bunch of shit so you that you don't have any like archive songs or if you do have archive songs are you going to make them over how does that work uh no nah, i'm not i'm not i'm not going to do that no what i mean by it's taking my whole life to make it i don't actually have any music for it or nothing like that okay i'm just building experiences and you know a bunch of stuff for that album so when it's time to really get into it i'm gonna have a shit loads of stuff to say and you know just the Alrighty. creative the creativity is gonna be crazy that makes sense yeah so we're gonna be looking forward to that uh but yeah, right now show your hunger but tell right everybody now, sorry for my patience sorry for my yep. patience uh if you could just look in the camera tell people where they can follow you at where they can cop sorry for my patience mm -hmm. and everything else you want to say what up what up what up it's prime time tez y'all can check out my new project sorry for my patience on all streaming sites apple music spotify google play anywhere you get music y'all definitely can go check that out man give me some feedback on my Instagram at Primetime Tez. You know, check me out, man. And that's Appreciate it, man. That. It's your boy, Mr. J Hill. Conversation Shout out with Jay Hill. Primetime Tez. Rap. We out. Get it.